Okay, welcome back to the episode of Medieval Dynasty. Now, um, it's it's, a, it's kind of bad weather, <laughs> and I am I'm collecting some wood, uh, mostly because I need to get a little bit more branches. I have run out of sticks at the old place. Um, the village is completely devoid of sticks currently. Uh, I have been just been gathering up as much of this stuff as I possibly could, and now I am. Exploring the rest of the countryside, looking for more. It's good sticks. I mean, there's sticks all over the place. I, I just don't, I just don't, don't feel like picking them all up. This is much. This is. I like this more. <laughs> so we got 112. Excellent. I says I don't have any weapons on me, so I can't go too far. Um, I don't want to get stuck between a rock and a hard place. Um, and with a hard place, I mean a bunch of piggies. Or, or wolves. Wolves would be even worse. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get let's get back to the village. Ooh, got some more sticks over here. Thank you. Ah, uh, it's so alluring to go get some more sticks over here. But I know what's over on the other side of this. I do. I, that's why I want to go away. <laughs> let's not let's not go too far in that direction, shall we? Yeah, let's go. go. Get the stuck sticks here, sticks there. All right, excellent. That's, that should be enough. I have 143. It's not gonna last the village very long. These these little sticks, but they they will do for now. I'm just, I'm just scouting where my my hunters are. They should be around here somewhere. It's of course they've all been eaten. <laughs> ah, the things. So berry bushes, everything else is okay. I think everything is, seems to be fine. The, the, the hunters are somewhere. The hunting cabin is somewhere over there. Just not exactly sure what that is. Is that a tree trunk? Yes, a tree trunk. Where is the? There's the hunting cabin. There's the hunting cabin. Okay, there's the hunting cabin. So we must be close to some wildlife over there. Let's just let's just go. up oh, flip! That scared me. <laughs> A bunch of wraiths coming out of the mist. Uh, those are my hunters. They are here to do the hunting. Good stuff. Got some more sticks over here. Beautiful. Uh, this is this should keep my um my uh, oh here we go. We got the butcher unlocked. Perfect. Ah, finally. It's good. I was wondering what that was going to happen. So that means. We can upgrade the wood shack, which is what we're going to be doing this rep this episode. We're going to be upgrading a bunch of um, lumberjacks, giving them a little bit more oomph. Well, not much more oomph, more capacity. Let's let's call it that. They can they can handle two people now. How are my orchards doing? They're still here, not dead yet. <laughs> it's going to take a while before they're uh, fully grown. It's fine. We'll get it. We'll get that eventually. What's this? This is a uh, rye. This is wheat. This is rye. It's a lot of rye. And we just need to get a whole bunch of hops. Not hops. I mean, um, oats. And then we should have enough to feed all of our animals for the rest of the for the well, basically for for our entire season. That's the goal for at least one season. How are my piggies doing, by the way? Hello. Where, where are the where are the piggies? Oh, hello. Everybody seems to be sick. Where are my piggies? Are my piggies dead? No. I still got a request for two meals. I can I can hear them. But I don't see them. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Where are you, piggy? <laughs> I don't know where the piggy went. Is is he in here? Cross is empty. There's no. Mm. We'll have to get some food for them. I don't think they'll die from lack of food anyway, but it's probably a good idea to get them anyway. Oh, this, this this weather is so horrible. But luckily, I'm doing fine. Look at that. in the green zone. <laughs> uh, everybody seems to be happy, but me. Okay, let's go get some. What do we got? So we see we have 1,946 wood. Plenty of wood there. 
We have 9,958 food. Excellent. I have been grinding that food uh, for a while now. Okay, we're in the woodshed section. We can build a wooden bench. Oh, nice. And a palisade. Palisades are useless at the moment because we don't get any attacks. So we don't need to build those. But there are, they're, they're, they're nice to build, right? Right, Negrod? <laughs> That's a really nasty name to have. All right, let's, let's, um, let's put these sticks in here. Get my people back to work. To make them stop uh, complaining about everything. There we go. How much firewood do we have? Do we have any firewood? Let's see. Firewood, firewood. There we go. We got six firewood. Okay, I need to make some firewood. Let's, let's grab a bunch of sticks. Um, well, these are not sticks, but I mean logs. There we go. Bam. And let's turn those into a bunch of firewood. Okay, there we go. All right. Let's do the magic trick. Alright, and the last little bit. Uh, we just need to get a, a bit of firewood. It's getting dark already. <laughs> I need to get to bed. Uh, the first day is over already. This making firewood takes a long time. There we go. Beautiful. Firewood, 360. Be up. There we go. Management, up to 3000. Excellent. So people will be happy. They'll be burning stuff all the time. No problems whatsoever. Let's jump to bed with the wife. Wife! Hello? No, what? Where is she? <laughs> Never mind. Let's just take, take a nap. Ah, uh, there she goes. How are. Uh, I'm not quite sure what she's been up to, but. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Alright, let's see. Um, we need to go upgrade this. Uh, these, these little uh, huts. The first thing we're gonna upgrade, of course, is that hut over there to a level 2. So, we can start with that one. It's closest. Well, to me, it is closest. Um. There's also one over there, and there's also one over there, but... Uh, uh, yeah, I think I'll, I'll do this one. We'll do this one first. <laughs> so let's first thing first, let's go grab ourselves a couple of things. I need a hammer. Do we have a hammer? We do have a hammer. I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to grab you. And we are going to grab ourselves a bunch of logs why not let's grab a bunch of logs let's go 14 15 15 is fine 15 is fine now the problem is i can't just upgrade this building to a level two that doesn't work um i'm gonna have to destroy it first floating trees floating trees ignore <laughs> so i'm gonna have to oh, i'm stuck i'm stuck i'm gonna have to just destroy it first and then rebuild it in level two this is a beautiful little hut. Little is the right word because it's not very, not very big. You can't really do much with this. So let's just first empty out the chest. Chest is empty. Perfect. Let's go. Bam, bam, bam. Good. That one's gone. Build. Let's go building. Uh, extraction woodshed level two. That's what we want. We want that thing to be over here as well like that beautiful so there we go we got a woodshed with two um <laughs> roof sections and a little bit of a hole you can see right through this hole here but it's okay we'll, we'll manage we'll manage let's get first set okay we need one log over here bam log here and planks we need planks let's go get some planks i didn't think this through did i now we have loads of planks. I think we have loads of planks. We shouldn't have any problems with planks. Then once we have the planks in place, this building should be done. It's not that big. It's just a little woodshed, but once we have this building placed, we can actually have two people work there instead of uh, one, which is great. It means we can get some more people in there. Let's go get some planks. Put some of these logs back and the straw. I don't need the straw. Uh, wait, wait, huh, come on. Planks, plank, plank, plank. There we go. Let's grab ourselves for two planks. Perfectly fine. So that should be somebody. <clears throat> Let's see, who are you? Oh, yeah, there we go. Egbert. Egbert is currently unhappy because he doesn't have a job anymore. But as soon as we have this, this puppy up to level two, he'll be as happy as can be. Because then he knows that he actually has... Uh, a future. <laughs> uh, we shall see. We shall see. First things first, let's go build this thing. 
Oh, look at that. A lot of holes in that roof. You can see the sky. This is not a good roof. I'm not quite sure who made this roof, but that was pretty pathetic. All right, there we go. We got ourselves a level two hunting cat. Well, <laughs> lumberjack. 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 Okay, this thing is going to go all over the place. It's going to... Um, we can have two people working. Let's go check out this, the, the management for this thing. Extraction. Uh, woodshed level two. And here we go. We've got two empty slots for two people. It's good. So let's go put Eggbird back in place. You can be the lumberjack like you always wanted to be. Perfect. And we still have another slot for somebody else to work. Which is great. The only problem is I don't have anybody else to work here yet. So we're going to have to work on that. Um... That will go away by itself. The hunting, I think they need uh, they need a knife. They don't have any knives. Uh, constantly with the knives. They, they, they always have a problem with knives. I'm not quite sure why. Why do my... I'm not, I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> let, me, let me just show you guys. I, I have production. I have a, a smithy. The smithy makes knives and everything else. Currently, I have knives set on 45%. And yet, they make everything else. Like the stone pickaxe, they make that. The stone axe, they make that. All these things, they make them in multiples. But the stone knife, never. <laughs> it's kind of kind of weird. What's this? Oh, it's sticky. I'll take the stick. Um, so we need to get some knives up and running for these people so they can actually get back to work. Now, we could destroy one of our lumberjacks and have that guy work over here as well two lumberjacks uh, better than one because we pay per building we have a building over there we have a building over there and we have this beautiful building over here now if we reduce the number of buildings we pay less tax so that's something that's that's something that i would like to have um so i think i'm thinking it's, a, it's probably a good idea to to get this, get one of the lumberjacks to move his ass over to here instead. Let's do that. So let's go over to the extraction hut. Um, and let's see, we, we have this one over here, it's across the river. And then we have this one over here, it's in the woods. I want to get the one in the woods. And... Wait, should I do that? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's, let's get this guy fired. Bam. No worker. Beautiful. Let's put him to work here instead. <clears throat> Godfrid. He's going to come over here and work instead. And now we have this woodshed over here, which is now completely open. This is over there. Uh, that doesn't have anybody, so we can go and destroy that one. Why am I over encumbered? What, what did I... Oh, yeah, I have a whole bunch of planks and some stones. Of course I do. Of course I do. Oh, let's sleep. Let's grab some water. I do want to survive. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, we got another stone over here. I always grab too much. I'm just incredibly greedy when it comes to this kind of stuff. It's like a Minecraft when you just when you're sitting in the in a dungeon or in some kind of a cave and you see iron and gold and everything else just shining in the walls at you. You just want to grab it all. There we go. We got a bunch of stones and a bunch of sticks. Let's go check this out. Um, this is all of our resource material we got 34 stone i'm going to take all of the stone i'm going to take a couple of these sticks like that i'm going to make myself a couple of knives i think i need a couple of knives let's go make ourselves six knives that should be enough keep our hunters busy for a while right if we don't have enough knives they'll yeah well they'll get a bit of a pissed off just a tiny little tad a little bit we don't want that All right, there we go. Halfway there. So we'll upgrade this one, this lumberjack we just upgraded, and then we will upgrade the lumberjack across the river as well to a level two. And then we should have ability to um, hire, well, quite a number. We have, we'll have four lumberjacks then. Four lumberjacks instead of the three that we have currently. So let's go destroy that hut over there. We have rabbit. The trap is going to go away though. Uh, let's get this rabbit. 
We don't need food at the moment. We have a ton. I have... <laughs> I've been hunting. Quite significantly. I've just gone across the map and just hunted everything I could possibly hunt. And gathered as much meat as possible. I came to a point where I had over a thousand raw meat. It's just ridiculous. So let's, let's destroy everything here. Is this empty? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Bam, bam, and the foundation. There we go. Now the reason why I want to get rid of this, um, this lumberjack over here is mainly because of the wolves. There's a wolf over there somewhere. I saw his silhouette. Oh, there he is. See him? I wish I had binoculars, but they weren't invented yet. There's supposed to be two wolves. I think there's another one somewhere in these bushes. I'm not quite sure where exactly. Oh, there he is. I see him. He's moving. So you got one, two wolves. I don't like that. So I want to get a palisade running over here just to keep these wolves out. Just as a little precaution. <laughs> now I'm pretty sure that wolves don't get into the camp and so on. I think that we will be fine. But I, uh, it's just... It's, um, wait, what are you doing over here? Tamaroka, what are you doing? You enjoying the cold? I think she's doing drugs. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh... Just leave her alone. If she wants to do illegal activities, it's fine. I'm not gonna stop her. I'm not the medieval t uh, medieval police. I don't I don't stop you from from uh, from huffing your glue or whatever you're doing. Just go right ahead. All right. What do we need for this other hut? We need to get some planks and some logs. Then we can upgrade that one as well. Let's go get that done. And then we shall move into town. And go get some more pig feed. I want some more pig feed. We have a bunch of coins. We've got 5,000, almost 6,000 coins, which is great. Um, we have a lot of stuff that we can sell. Look, they have stone axes, stone pickaxes, knives. No. no. <laughs> they should be spending most of their time making knives, but they don't. And I don't know why. Now, the thing is that what I want, of course, is to move on to the mine. The mine shaft. This is what we want. We want to get from the woodshed to the mine, but this is going to take us 2,500 points. That's quite a significant amount. So I'm going to be doing some off-camera grinding to get myself over to, this, to the mine. Uh, it'll be nice to have that. The fishing hut is, is coming there slowly. We are almost halfway. <laughs> we just have to kill the entire map and then do that several times. Uh, for about a season and then maybe we'll get halfway to the worst of the fishing hut level two and same goes for the well the goose house is coming along once we have this is, this is these points are pretty much stagnant at the moment because it's winter there does nothing we can do with the mine uh, with the with the farm at the moment at this level except for feed the pigs and stuff like that and the chickens but and collect some some yeah here so by farming and breeding animals well there's nothing we need to breed at the moment because the piggies are still like really young they'll grow up in the next season so this is going to progress very slowly, but as soon as we get to the spring, it's going to go fast, real fast. We're going to be mining and uh, I'm harvesting a lot of stuff. It should be great because I want to get the stables. <laughs> and um, we also have the production technology. We are so close. We've got 1,485. Just need a little bit more and then we get the tavern level two. This is most likely going to be done in the next episode. Um, it won't be long. It won't be long. We'll be just be marked, uh, fixing this, grinding a little bit um on some production some this i don't know building stuff once we have the level tavern level two we'll build that and we should be golden now in the update it said that we would have a um well so anybody who has a tavern should get visited by i don't know some kind of a merchant a traveling merchant i haven't seen this yet so i don't know if it works maybe it's my game maybe my game is broken i don't know so anyways, let's grab some logs. Let's grab some logs. La, 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 la. Bam, there we go. A bunch of logs. Um, 14 should be enough. Let's grab some planks. 12 should be enough. Well, let's grab a bit more. This is, this is fine. That's uh, too much. <laughs> of course it's too much. It's always too much. And there we go. Some straw. My own straw doesn't weigh much, but okay. 
Um, we don't need all these logs. Let's put a couple of logs back. Like that. I think we need like um, maybe 12 logs. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. If we don't have... Uh, do I have an axe? I don't have an axe. Do I? No, I only have a wooden hammer. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Let's grab the stick here. All right. Let's go over to the lumberjack over there. Upgrade him. The fisherman's there. It's, it's, it's just, I, I, know, I hope he's not drowning. I don't want to go and give him CPR in this cold weather. It's horrible. Um, and also try and drag him, his, drag his ass from the river. That would be just not a good idea. All right. Let's go up here. Upgrade this guy's hut. This is this guy's hut. Why are there so many people here? What are you all doing? Oh, you're going. You're also hunters, aren't you? What's your name? You're Baldomer, okay, and Oswalda. Okay, they are. They're also hunters. There's a pack of four hunters moving up. So they hunt together. Get me a lot of meat. All right, let's get this hut. Built. Let's uh, destroy you. Let's, do we have anything in here? Nope. Good. Woodshed gone. There we go. And that's done as well. All right. Now I don't have a road here, so we have to build that as well. Uh, but first, let's put down the hut. And let the le extraction woodshed level two. I just need to have it nicely positioned like that. So, okay. Let's get to building. I need to have a log here. Uh, there, bam, 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 bam. Beautiful, Lordshed level two. <clears throat> this one's also done. Now we have the person that was working here before, uh, fired Nawaj. So we need him, of course, to work at this extraction, have this Woodshed level two. Let's go over there, empty slot, I know, I know. Uh, Nawaj, you come back and work here as a lumberjack and do the good work. Excellent. That's great. So well, he'll be back to work here pretty soon. Let's let's start making a little bit of road. I don't need my hammer for that. Put you away. Um, bam. <laughs> uh, down like that. Beautiful. And then from here downward. Yes. Just use the road I just created for you. Like so, all the way down to that little. Can we can we do this all the way down? <laughs> is that a thing we can do? Uh, the game is 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 is, uh, is having a little bit of trouble. Let's get you up to there, and then from here we will of course try and emulate the road like that and. Like, like that. Okay, me likey. It's not, it's not pretty. <laughs> here you have the road is nice and not so jagged. And there the road is very jagged. This, this is not, it's not what I imagined, but okay. <laughs> Nothing I can do about this. This is, but this is the way it is. This is the way it is. Also the fact that it doesn't seem to want to, I don't know, it doesn't want to... Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it's a very clear distinction between new road and old road. All right, that's cool. That's good. We have a nice path up to the hut, to the hut there, the lumberjack hut, and from there uh, they can move on to the um, to the the hunter's hunting cabin later on there. That's perfectly fine. All right, this is good. This is great. We're done. Um, all these lumberjacks are now level two let's go and start up the next thing we need to go and get ourselves some pig feed and i want to get some i want to trade it i want to trade it for something good so we have a bunch of stuff that we can trade with we also have a bunch of food hello chicken but why why are you are you are you afraid of me Nah, he's fine. <laughs> okay, the chicken is good. The chicken is good. We'll be cooking chicken in no time. First of all, let's get ourselves... Let's get rid of these hammers. We don't need them anymore. Um, I don't need the recurve bow. I don't need a stone knife. Look at this. Only two of them left. Bloody hell. What did they do with these knives? Did they eat them? Bunch of cannibals. All right. The um, fur shoes. We have one pair of shoes here. Simple backpack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and this is what I also want to get. 
in my inventory, I have a slot here for a pouch, a little pouch. So we're going to go and we can, we're going to go see if we can make a, a pouch first. So we have the sewing hat level two. A simple backpack. This is the pouch here. This is the pouch that we want. This is a, it adds an additional half a kilo. Well, that's how much it weighs. It adds something like six kilograms of weight to the weight limit, which is good. Um, this is the, the normal pouch. You also have a, let's see, where's the swing hat level three? Uh, it's not, no, this is Smitty. No, swing hat level three. There we go. We also have the large pouch. And the large pouch adds 10 kilograms. So we should be able to make the small pouch. Uh, if we have the materials, we need a leather and a tin bar. Yes, we can do this. All right, so we get, let's get some leather. So we need 10 leather for this. Did my uh, did my seamstress use up all the leather? No, she didn't. Good. We have a lot of leather. No, no, yeah, here we go. 10, do we have a tin ingot? I think I put all the ingots, um, bronze ingot. Oh, bloody hell. I need to get a tin ingot. So I need to get that. We have 39 wicker baskets. We'll sell that in a bit. Uh, linen thread one. I don't need linen thread, luckily. Um, let's go make this tin ingot. And then, wait, do we need, do we need two uh, ore to make an ingot? I hope not. Please don't make, it, don't make me do this. Ah, oh, I need two ore. Do we have any tin in here? No, we do not. All right. It's definitely time to go visit one of the bears. Go visit a bear. Let's put this stuff away. I don't need a lot. Why, do why am I still walking with this stuff? I need to put them back. I need to put it back. And then we'll go and get some tin and get that pouch built. Be a good idea. And of course, get ourselves a little bit of um, pig feed. Stick, I don't need that. Straw, okay, good. The leather, we'll keep that. I need to get, uh, we have a bunch of stone axes. No, I don't want to sell that at the moment. I want to get these wicker baskets sold. There we go. Let's grab all those. And we don't need anything else. A simple bag, simple small backpack. We can also sell that. We have a simple backpack. Um, let's also sell this guy. We can also sell him. All right, excellent. Let's go mm, visit a village. Let's go visit a village that we can actually sell stuff. Now, I know that the villages of Barowo and Gustovia are devoid of coin. There's no more coin. So we have to go to Baronica and sell it there. It'll be close to the mine, so we can go over to that there. So I think we should definitely get ourselves our beautiful little uh, recurve bow and a bunch of bronze arrows. There we go. It's going to go quite well, I think. <laughs> I don't have a torch. I need a torch as well. Let's grab a torch just in case things go high, really bad. Uh, simple torch or a torch. Um, I'm going to go for the this, this normal torch. Why not? Got a bunch of torches. Put the torch in there as well. Look at that. We just need to have a pouch. If we get a pouch, we get six kilograms additional. Beautiful stuff. And we can carry more. So, um, oh, wow, ships. I need, I need food. I need food. Can't go on these excursions without food. Food is kind of uh, kind of important. We got 219 additional meat, raw meat, and we have 200, 1,269 roasted meat. Now this is gonna go real fast, so we're gonna keep an eye on it. Let's first eat this stuff. Bam, 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 bam. It doesn't do much, but it'll be fine. Excellent. Now let's move over. Oh, that's the wrong one. The wrong way. Let's go over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell did I have? Uh, okay. <laughs> the game, this game is um, really ready for Resident Evil. I mean, the villagers uh, float and fly and from place to place. They could be, you know, the witches of Salem, whatever you want to call them. Right, okay, I need to grab a couple sticks because apparently that's what I do. Beautiful. I got 12 sticks. Excellent. Good stuff. Do we need any more? I hope not. All right, let's go get ourselves another kill. I can I could probably use a little bit more meat. I don't I don't need the meat per se because we have a lot of ton of food already, but I could use. Wait, what's this guy doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Hello. Oh, are you one of mine? 
Lutevor, you are one of mine. Hey, dude, you seem angry. <laughs> because I forgot about you. I didn't know you existed. I completely forgot that you were, go you were still here. Let's grab some more sticks. I need 16. Like that. Yeah, beautiful. I'm not going to keep this guy company. He's a bit of a bore. He doesn't say much. And, and he just keeps on walking. He's a bit of a... Um, yeah, he's a bit of a loner. I don't really like spending time with the villagers, <laughs> to be honest. I prefer moving around, along. But um, it is, of course, quite a nice... Uh, if, if we could get the villagers to actually reply or do some... You know, just some talking. How are you? What kind of things do you still need? What are you doing? That kind of stuff. Oh, hello. These rabbits... Can I kick you? Oh, bloody hell. They make all these weird noises and then you just... Yeah. You know, the only thing I miss in this game are bugs. The sounds of bugs. Some kind of... Um, not, not in the winter. Winter is fine. But some more immersive sounds. Some more immersive sound effects. That you know that you're in the wilderness. You know? The rustle of tree leaves. That would be nice. The creaking of the of the trees in the wind. And, and of course, uh, it's snowing right now. You shouldn't hear snow fall. Right? Um, but when it rains, just the, the raindrops would be nice to have. Just, just the idea that actually that the nature also <laughs> functions would be nice. Uh, I don't need much more than that. It just needs just a little bit more of sound effects. Some more immersiveness. Because at current, I get the feeling that this game is a bit empty. It's very lonely. I know there's lots of NPCs in the game and everything else. But if you don't have anything, kind of any kind of communication with them, sound-wise or anything like that, even... You have games where they, where you can talk to the creatures, the other NPCs, and all they do is just mumble back in a made-up language. Even that is fine. I understand that Eastern Europeans uh, in the medieval time had a different dialect that we probably wouldn't be able to understand anyway. But it's, just, it's it's about what yeah it's <laughs> it's just it's just the idea. Let's grab some. Let's grab a pickaxe. Put the pickaxe on one instead of the bow because we don't really need that. We don't need that much stuff. We just need to get. Oh, is it? Is this thing still empty? I think it is. Uh, this mine is still empty. I um ships. I'm gonna have to put a torch on. We're gonna have to go find ourselves. See if we. So maybe I missed something. Maybe I missed some tin. I doubt it though. But it's always a possibility that I did. You know, I'm not as thorough as I used to be. We got some copper over here, but we're not looking for copper. We're looking for tin. I missed that copper bit, though. Um, hmm, bum, bum. Nothing here. Are you tin? No, then use a stone. Oh, don't tell me. I have to go to the other mine. I'm going to have to go to the other one. There's more copper. I missed that one as well. Great. I thought this place was empty. Salt, I don't need that. Where are you, Tin? Tin, 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 Tin. Nope. We are we are going to have to go get some tin somewhere else. Unless, of course, there is tin in the ceiling. No, I don't think so. All right, this place is empty as hell. Okay, this this is empty as hell. Um, as empty as can be. Mm. All right, there's there's nothing in here. This this mine is is uh, is done. Right, so let's go over to the. Um, is this, this, there are some bears there. I don't want to go there. Let's, let's let's go check out. What's over there? What's that? Oh, that's that's uh, Sambor's house. Never mind. So I'm, I'm guessing we should go down here. I really don't want to. So let's go over to Veronica instead and see if we can't buy. This brings back. <laughs> let's just put this thing back first. Put you back, bam, and the recurve bow. Put that recurve bow in one again. Why do I have to do this? Put that like that, bam. I wish I could drag and drop the weapons and tools and so on into the slots. That'd be nice. Let's go over here and see if we can't 
buy a nice little pouch. There's a seamstress here that sells all sorts of stuff. And, uh, well, there she is. Zigzagging her way. See if she's being sniped. Okay, let's see. Okay, um, what do you have to sell me in the way of a pouch? So you got a felt hat. I don't need that. No, no, no. Hat with lapels. <laughs> uh, ooh, you have a large pouch. That's 10 kilograms. That's 286 coin. Ooh. You have the normal pouch. That's 6 kilograms. And we have the small pouch, which is 3 kilograms. Um, I think that's it, right? Yeah. So you have the small, the normal pouch, and we have the large pouch. So I'm going to go for the... Uh, do I, should I do that? It's kind of like cheating. I don't know. <laughs> simple large backpack. Uh, we have the simple backpack. The large backpack gives you an additional 20 kilograms. Simple backpack gives you 15 kilograms additionally. Um, we want to sell you that one. So you have the simple um, backpack there, which is quite nice. I'm going to sell you a whole bunch of wicker baskets as well. Because I don't have a use for that. And I am going to buy from you the large pouch large pouch there we go bam just one thank you ah. okay we won't be making it this time but we will we'll, we'll do that some other time so we're gonna put that over there we have an additional 10 kilograms so we are at 70 kilograms i could buy i have still i still got a little bunch of coin i could buy the large backpack but, ah, it just it gives me five kilograms more this is perfectly fine i think we're okay we're okay but this mine is empty so if we want to get more materials, more raw materials, we're going to have to go find another mine to plunder. So I'm thinking maybe we should build something over here by this mine. It's a little lake there. No, where's the mine? Is that the mine? No, it's not the mine. And that's the mine, right here. If we build another um, hut here, um, storage hut, maybe that will help us keep track of just get our gear in order. I think that'll be a probably that'll probably be a good idea. I think that would be a good idea. <laughs> Let's build houses, all, build buildings all over the place. We do have quite a significant amount of building limit. That's right, so ninety. We are still we are already at village stage, so um, I think we're doing fine. Village is quite nice. I, I'm not quite sure if we can do bigger. I'm not sure if we get anything else above village. Maybe city. <laughs> That'd be cool. A little town. But we still have a long way to go before we get a 90, um, we hit the 90 limit. So it's still a lot of lot of things that we can build, a lot of houses that we need to build and everything else. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. So, oh, your Lutabor is back. Is that you, Lutabor? You don't look like a Lutabor. You're Casimir. So if you're Casimir... Why, why is Lutabor walking in this direction then? Wait, maybe it's Lutabor. Who's this guy? Is that Lutabor? That's, uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, where's Lutabor? Lutabor is this guy. He's a blacksmith. So, okay, where does he live? Um, no, Lutabor, that's the guy. The miner. Okay, he's a miner. So he's moving all the way over here to mine. And then we have this guy. Who's What's his name again? This guy is called Casimir. Okay, Casimir. Casimir is the animal breeder. And he needs to work all the way over there. So where does Lutabor live? Housing. This is, this is, ah, play, I can't. Hmm. Who lives here? No. Let's find the house. That it's all, There we go. That's the house over there. It's, Casimir lives over here. Um, over there by the mine. And this is Casimir. So why isn't Casimir? So why isn't Casimir? Casimira? No, Casimir. He's a hunter, and he is—he's over there. But he hunts, of course, somewhere over here. Hmm. So <laughs> maybe we should move him somewhere else. Let's let's move him to a different house. Let's put him in a house where. Um, wait. Can we can we put you in a house? Can we put you in this house? Let's put you in. No, I can't put you in this house. Can I put you in this house? Let's put you in this house. 
Assigned to House Casimir. Okay, excellent. So now we have Casimir uh, living over here. Lutabor, on the other hand, is uh, coming over here because he's a miner. The only problem is it's kind of far away to do the mining. Hmm. So maybe we should get Lutabor to become a lumberjack as well. Let's just get rid of that. Let's give him the uh, no the, the woodshed let's put him in the woodshed and put him there uh, lumberjack exactly that beautiful now i have everybody over in the main village nobody lives here this house is empty as can be and is devoid of life um <laughs> that's the way we want it now we need to have this house over here as soon as we have uh the ability to build a mine we'll have these people uh, that actually live here working in this mine we won't have them walking all the way up and down uh, to the village. That'd be kind of stupid. This is fine. Let's head on back to the village. We have a lot of stuff. Oh, hello, sheepy. Hello, sheepy. Oh, yep. Yeah. He's a beautiful ram lamb, isn't he? Ram, not lamb. Yeah. I know. Look at those horns! Gorgeous! Just want to hug you and feel warm. Alright, let's go. Before the lady kicks me out. <laughs> I don't think she likes me playing with her animals. Um, do we have anything left to sell? Do we, what do we have in our inventory? We don't... I think we sold everything. We don't have the tin. We don't need... To, we don't need that. We already have the large pouch. It's good. Um... So it's fine, fine. We I know we bought the thing when we're supposed to be making it ourselves, but it's fine. I have tons of money. I just don't have any animal feed. I want that. So I'm going to go over to the lady that could have kicked my ass over there and see if she has any animal feed that we can buy off of her. Hey, hey lady. Hello, hello, hello. Do you have any... any show, me your, show me... Oh, shut up. Show me where's. You have animal feed. Yeah, we're gonna go grab a bunch of animal feed. Let's go take all of it. We, that's a lot of money for that uh, animal feed. So I'm gonna go for 30. That's <laughs> still a lot of money. That's fine. Um, is, do we still have? We, that's, that doesn't weigh that much. Okay, farewell, my lady. Be well. Just bow to her. <laughs> that's what you do, you know. Oh, where are we going? We're going back this way. There we go, that way. Let's go through the village. Let's see if they have anybody here of interest. Now, what would be nice is if I could actually fire somebody, kick some people out of the village. You know, so because a lot of people, these free people, are uh, significantly more uh, powerful than some of the people I have in my village. And I would like to replace them with better, capable, more capable people. Only problem is I can't really get rid of anybody. My village is... It's, it's stuck the way it is. Once you have somebody in your village, they ain't gonna leave until you... Of, of course, they, they will leave if you don't give them anything to do. You don't give them a house. They will move on. And uh, that we might have to do something like that in the future. A lot of these cats here. Why are there so many? Just, just, I don't know. It's, it's a bit weird, but it's okay. Weird is okay, weird is okay. The card over here, is there anything in there? No, still doesn't get, it doesn't respawn. Not always. Maybe once a year. I am not quite sure. Uh, we'll, 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 once we pass the year mark, we'll, uh, we'll go past all these, uh, oh, we got the piggy over there. All these uh, beautiful little um, carts and see what we can find. See if anything spawns back again. <laughs> Do we have any Vicent here? I thought there was Vicent. La, 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 la. Just a deer. Yes. Just hang on to that one. Uh, I don't have a freaking knife. Why do I keep doing this to myself? I need to find a knife. Where do I have a knife? Okay, let's make a knife here. Bam, bam, bam. That should be enough. Make a little knife. How blunt is this knife? 
Right. Once I make a knife, I use it. I, I, it takes a long time for me to get through one knife. I'm not quite sure how these hunters do it though. Crazy animal. Let's get this dough. <laughs> He's still running over there. Take it easy, dude. What is wrong with you? Hit you in the back of the neck. Oh, bloody hell. Hey, stop rolling. There we go. Beautiful. So once those, those arrows start rolling, they don't actually stop. Not until they hit something like water or something. It's a little bit disturbing, but okay. Let's see. Where I, I missed one arrow. Where to go? Where to go? Ah, oh, come on. This must have happened to a lot of medieval hunters in the past. So when you um, you walk walk into the forest in Europe, sometimes you find an arrowhead. That's because. Some idiot like me <laughs> shot off an arrow just when the deer was trying to, was was ducking his head and then missed and then went flying into the wild. That's what happens. All right. Well, we we have definitely run out of time. I'm gonna go and say hello to these people over here. Take a nice little sip by the fire. All right. That's it for this episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. It's fine. I will see you guys in the next one. In the next one, we'll work on the tavern, get it up to spec. Uh, make a little level 2 one and see if we can make some flower stuff. Make some bread. Be nice. <laughs> Anyways, have a great evening. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.